Are you looking for manufactured homes for sale in Florida? Does an affordable 55 plus community in Florida interest you? Stay tuned. Recently, I visited Winter Haven, Florida to look at manufactured homes and 55 plus communities. If you are looking at manufactured homes for sale in Florida or an affordable Florida retirement community, you are in the right place. I looked at everything from high-end resort 55 plus communities complete with golf courses to smaller parks that offer a winter retreat for those on a more limited budget. Stick around because we will look at a beautiful resident-owned community and some manufactured and mobile homes in resident neighborhoods with no HOA. Hello, I'm Russ Watson. I help folks choose a Florida manufactured housing solution that fulfills their dreams and meets their needs. Let's dig in. Winter Haven is in Polk County, about 40 miles south-southwest of Orlando, and just about centered between the east and west coast of Florida. This area enjoys relatively warm winters. It's around 15 miles west to Lakeland for major shopping centers and nightlife. Orlando Airport is about an hour and a half's drive, and Tampa International Airport is about the same. I think the closest beaches would be across Route 60 to Vero Beach and out to Hutchinson Island. This is about a two-hour drive. Polk County is a mecca for mobile and manufactured homes. You will see them mixed into many neighborhoods, unlike a great deal of the rest of the state. It is also home to the largest population by county of manufactured home communities. In researching this video, I plotted out communities in the general area and there sure were a bunch of them. Winter Haven has a population of roughly 50,000. This is an area my wife and I visited often on our Florida vacations because she was enthralled with Cypress Gardens. The park was beautiful, and so were the southern bells that were employed to grace the gardens. Unfortunately, it closed in 2009. Winter Haven has been the single largest location of seaplane training in the country. There are a lot of small lakes in the area perfect for practice landings. These lakes are also a great attraction to those that love to fish. There are ramps on almost every one of them, even the small ones. Parks and fishing piers are found throughout the area. You gotta love Polk County. In nearby Lakeland, we have a working 1950s drive-in, and next door in Auburndale, here we have a figure eight speedway. This is good old boy racing at its finest, with divisions for Crown Vic, Mini Stock, Pure Stock, Bandoleros, Legends, and much more. Just down the street, you can stop into the Imperial Polk County Gun Club and shoot a round of skeet or trap. They have numerous fields and are open to the public, including competitions. Founded in 1926, Winter Haven Hospital provides a broad range of medical care and is located in the downtown area. Emergency care is available here as well. You do not have to go far to find a Publix in the Winter Haven area. By the way, gas prices here are pretty good too. Did you know George Jenkins opened the first store here in 1930 and the first public supermarket here in 1940. There's lots of golf courses in this area. Winter Haven features Willowbrook Municipal, which provides an opportunity to play a really nice course at an extremely affordable price. Some communities have their own golf courses. Four Lakes Golf Club is such a place. Listed by DBPR at 814 lots, this is one of the larger parks in the state. It features a par 72 course with many water hazards. Multiple tee selections are available to accommodate various skill levels. Four Lakes Golf Club has a fully staffed pro shop on site. There are regular tournaments, 
weekly scrambles, and golf clinics held, making this a golfing mecca. And, as you can see, there will be no shortage of new friends and challenging golf partners to play with. The clubhouse features a great room with seating up to 400. There is a full-service restaurant and bar with regular daily specials. The large craft room accommodates a broad range of interests and resident groups. Unique to the property is a cinema room for private movie showings. Four Lakes is pet-friendly with no specific weight limit on dogs, although they do have the usual breed restrictions. The Lake Henry Golf Course is shared by two communities, Swiss Golf and Tennis Club, combined with Hidden Golf Club, total approximately 950 lots, according to DBPR. Each community has its own clubhouse, along with access to the 18-hole private executive golf course that wanders through the property. There are both new and brokered homes available in these communities, with lots of choices in size and options. This is true country club living at an affordable price. Winterhaven Oaks is a mid-sized land lease park listed by DBPR at 344 lots. It is a 55-plus gated community. Homes along this street have a unique arrangement with two homes separated by a roadway leading to two homes behind on a little cul-de-sac. This community offers new and brokered homes for sale. It would be a good choice for those who are looking for manufactured homes built after the last HUD code revision. The main clubhouse is used for activities and community social gatherings. Bingo is popular here. It also features a screened-in pool, fitness center, shuffleboard courts, and a tennis court that is also set up for pickleball. Clubhouse 2 features a second pool and pool deck where you can grab some sun or meet for smaller gatherings. This is a park that exemplifies why many folks choose land lease. It looks like a beautiful place to enjoy Florida living. Winter Haven is a somewhat smaller 55 plus community listed at 238 homes. It is a mix of single and double wide homes with many older single wide homes still in service. Some are even likely to be mobile homes built before 1976, but all appeared to be kept in reasonably good condition. The neighborhood was tidy and appeared welcoming. We'll contrast this with another area I toured later in the video. There are some new homes here, and I assume as some of these units reach the end of their life cycle, they will be replaced with new. There is a large storage area for boats and RVs, making this a magnificent park if your number one mission in life is to spend your time fishing lakes in this region. Given the large number of lakes and boat ramps available, there is a lifetime of nearby fishing in this area. The clubhouse features an event center, a well-stocked library, and billiards, offering many opportunities for organized activities. The pool deck looks spacious and inviting, even though it was a bit chilly the day I was there. Shipwreck Harbor is a smaller park with 112 lots. It is a community of mostly double-wide homes with a beautiful park across the street on Lake Ship. If you're looking for a Florida home base and might use a pool occasionally, this size community could make sense for you. The homes appear well-kept, as does the park itself. The Publix at Spirit Lake Crossing is less than two miles away. The clubhouse building is located on the northeast corner of the park and houses the park office, community facilities, and has garages for maintenance equipment. There is a laundry building next door and a lovely pool and pool deck that look warm and inviting. Lucerne Lakeside is the last land lease community we will look at. It is also a 55 plus mobile home park and is a little bit larger at 140 lots. 
These are smaller homes with at least half being single wide units. I really like what some folks have done with them though. Custom windows and creative exterior decorating have made for an eclectic community. This is a great type of park for snowbirds just looking for comfortable accommodations throughout the winter months at lot rents that are affordable year round. The community is situated on Lake Smart with access to the seven chain of lakes and world-class fishing. There are some homes with boat docks and a community pier with additional docks. Oakwood Estates is a resident-owned community that I have been following for months now. It is a co-op community that is gated and 55 plus. There are 443 lots here and homes are priced pretty reasonably for a resident-owned community. This park is not listed as an FS723 community, indicating there are no or very few rental lots in the park. The property is located on the west side of Dinner Lake, and over a third of the lake shoreline forms a recreational area within the park. The main clubhouse sits alongside the lake, and has a beautiful heated pool, large pool deck, lakeside pavilion, shuffleboard courts, and lots of parking. The second clubhouse is located a little further back in the property. Here we find another heated pool and pool deck. This is also where you could play tennis or pickleball. The facilities in this community really are quite amazing. Driving along the shoreline, we see the small pavilion, horseshoe pits, and then we come to the miniature golf course. This looks like it could be a lot of fun and something the grandkids might enjoy. That's a pretty fancy bocce court with shaded seating on three sides overlooking the lake. A little further down the shore, there is a launch area for kayaks, canoes, or small lake boats. The benches placed throughout are a thoughtful addition for those who want to sit a second while walking. Further back in the park is a large storage area for RVs and boats, making this a perfect home base for trailering a boat to the world-class fishing found on the surrounding lakes. Homes here are all double wide with two and three bedroom layouts. The homes seem to range from 800 to about 1,500 square feet. Yards were well maintained with quite a few different varieties of plants and plantings. Many of the driveways were quite fancy too. At the time this video is being produced, there were 11 homes for sale on Remax, ranging in price from 99,000 to 150. All the homes I've seen for sale were built between 1980 and 1986. At the time this video was made, the HOA fees are listed at $150 a month. Annual taxes on the most expensive home I looked at were under $500. Now, let's compare that with homes in the area in private neighborhoods with no HOA and no rules. Throughout this area, I saw quite a few manufactured homes mixed in with conventional housing in unrestricted neighborhoods. Some were really quite nice and had very large lots. No rules, no pet restrictions, all ages welcome, and no HOA fees. You can fence your yard any way you like, and your neighbors are free to do the same. There is no HOA or park manager bugging you to power wash your home or trim your lawn. Full height stockade fencing can provide privacy that you won't get in organized communities. Some parts of these neighborhoods are a little nicer than others, but hey, it's private property and you can do whatever you want to do. Just picture yourself sitting out next to the driveway and having a cold one on a nice sunny Florida day with no one to bug you about community rules. That wraps up our tour of the Winter Haven area. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do, so future videos will be presented to you. 
Winter Haven has many manufactured and mobile home opportunities for you to explore further. I've put links in the description below to additional resources we have to help you with your research. Please give us a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. If you would like to see more videos on manufactured housing across Florida, just click on the link. Thanks for watching and let me express my gratitude for all the kind words and support y'all leave in the comments. I truly appreciate it. Thanks again and see you next time.